A lot of people have this question why they should use Cloudbase when they can directly buy the same plan directly from the VPS provider at a cheaper price point. So in this video we are going to discuss the challenges of unmanaged VPS hosting, what are the benefits of Cloudbase that they provide and a little preview about the Cloudbase interface and my final conclusion which service you should opt for which will be more beneficial for your business. So first let's talk about the challenges of unmanaged VPS hosting. Uh, once you buy a VPS plan from any provider like DishLotion, Vulture, Linode or any other VPS provider, you have to first decide what software you want to install. Um, so what I meant as software is for you have to decide which operating system you want to use like we use Windows, Mac, there are, there are many versions in Linux. So you have to first decide which OS you want to use, then you have to decide which control panel you want to use or you just directly want to use it from the command line which is extremely difficult and after that which web server you want to use. Like there are several options available in the market both paid and free. So even if you want to go with the free option because well if you are trying to save money then uh, the free options makes more sense. So there are several free options available like do you want to use the LAMP stack, do you want to use the LEMP stack, do you want to use open light speed and then even with light speed there are different version open light speed and light speed enterprise or do you want to use something like plesk or cyber panel or something else okay so there are several options like caddy and things like that so you have to understand what each panel offers what are pros and cons of each control panel and what all features they have so all these panels are completely different and like they have this complete different interface, they have complete different features. So you have to first understand about them and then decide which uh, softwares you want to use for the VPS. And once you decide that, then you have to decide which what will be the best configuration for the best performance. So you have to optimize your VPS for the best optimized performance. It's not just um, install and forget. Uh, otherwise, you would not get the best performance possible with the hardware. And then you have to decide if uh, the software you have selected has all the features that you need for your website like it should have the DNS management solution or you have to use the DNS management provided by your VPS provider if they have it or not and then you have to decide like how you want to manage the emails. Um, the SSL issues, right? So uh, it can be very simple to issue SSL certificate normally, but um, sometimes if things go wrong, like the DNS is not properly done, so the SSL certificate will not get issued. And then you have to just spend hours Googling why it's not working, okay? Uh, so even, let's say you have managed to set up and it's um, somewhat working, but then you have the challenge of security, uh, like what firewall you want to use, what web application firewall you want to use and what multiple backup solutions you have because now you are not just responsible for the WordPress management, you are also responsible for your server management which is a much more a bigger challenge than just managing WordPress which is usually the standard. Okay. Then, uh, so it, like I said, the backup thing, you have to uh, decide how do you want to set up the backup of your server, not just the WordPress website. That's uh, That backup will be different. The backup of your server configuration and everything will be uh, separate. You have to keep it separate. So you have to either decide that um, if the control panel or whatever software tech stack basically you, you chose uh, offers a backup, inbuilt backup solution, then you can configure it to upload it to a FTP or rsync or something else and um, if the tech stack you chose has automatic update system or you have to um, manually do that and just like WordPress word updates issues and uh, there are challenges with the server updates too like you have to make sure that you take a back first then do the update test everything and then you know, once you're sure that everything is working properly, there are no issues, then you can continue. And if something breaks, then you have to restore and um, decide, figure out what went wrong, what update is breaking your server. So it's not so easy, okay? And there is no support available with unmanaged VPS hosting. Uh, the VPS providers 
is only responsible that the hardware is up and everything else is your responsibility they are not responsible if your website is down for any reason if the server is up then that's all the support they can offer and that's only their responsibility okay so you have to be prepared that uh, there will be no support right so even if the server is up there can be many reasons why your website is not working okay now and then uh, there is another issue that let's say you have multiple sites so some are wordpress some are different cms so uh, with unmatched vps hosting depending on the tech stack right so if you just chose a lamp stack or lamp stack or open light speed directly without any control panel uh, then it becomes quite difficult to host multiple sites right like the configuration is a bit complicated you have to google and understand how it's working and hope it's not creating some security issues so these are the challenges with unmanaged vps hosting now with uh, if you decide to decided to use cloudbase okay they do the software selection themselves right you don't have to care what is the tech stack you don't have to know you just know that it will work and they have done the research and optimized the tech stack that is the most compatible and offers a decent performance so you don't have to worry about that you don't do not have to even think about it okay now they take care of the optimized configuration they also take care about the issues of dns emails and ssl issues the ssl thing is pretty straightforward the dns is basically you will have to follow a one time process and same for the email so they have integrated the emails uh, but you have to if you don't want to opt for their paid dns solution then um, it's a one time process to set up the dns and emails and everything properly and their support is always available to help you with these issues you can also search on youtube about it and or their articles um, it's fairly easy compared to uh, unmanaged vps now comes the security part again you don't have to care about the security of the server okay you are only responsible for your wordpress and also for wordpress cloudways offers uh, better security like they because with the regular security patching and uh, automated backups and stuff so they also have dedicated firewall so compared to a normal unmanaged vps hosting the security is relatively a lot better with cloudways and you don't have to worry about it so also for the backup you have solutions available directly from the cloudways dashboard uh, they also take care of the server updates they can also take care of the wordpress updates if you want they have some add on plugins i think safe update something um, but it will be a, this cloudway safe update and when it comes to support cloudways has uh, direct live support and they are very beginner friendly so they should be able to help you with most issues they also offer free migration and things so that uh, should make the migration process easier and it's fairly easy to host multiple website multiple cms platforms um, a lot of uh, cms are basically one click install with wordpress so it's very easy to host multiple uh, multiple websites you can host as many applications as your server can support so my final conclusion will be if you're someone who is interested in all these tech stuff and have a non profit uh, website or some hobby site basically something that is not generating a lot of profit and you don't want to pay extra then it's fine you can uh, try using the unmatched vps once and then see if uh, that's your cup of tea but if you have a profitable business and go on something completely hassle free Uh, with the best performance so you should opt for cloudways it makes life easier for business people cloudways allows you to spend more time on your business and make more profits instead of spending all your time to figure out why your website your server is again down why it's not working because wordpress itself can be a little challenging to manage with all the regular updates and things so that's my opinion and if you need any help with the migration or if you have any further doubts then please check the description and the linked comment a pinned comment i will link to other cloudways tutorials that will help you in moving to cloudways if you want so i hope you found this video useful please post your doubts question feedback in the comments and i will try to help you out